check, check. Just because it's unlisted doesn't mean that people aren't going to still be able to hear it because some of these people are still in here, but let's find out. Check, 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 check. Check, check. That sounds good, too. Let me know once, once you can verify, and then I'll just start recording. Check, check, check. Sounds good, right? I just want to make sure his mic is okay. Oh, everybody's already in here, even though it's on unlisted. Fuck it. All right, I'm going to switch it to public. <coughs> We're live. All right, now I just have to hit record. Hopefully that works. All right, we don't have a number of uh, people who are... All right, fuck it. Looks good to me. I don't know the number of people that are in here watching, but fuck it. Yeah, we're good. All right. Hey, we just had some technical difficulties trying to do this podcast live for the first time ever. But here we are. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And I'm here with Joseph Urban. You know, I'm going to be honest, you're smoking that fucking pen so much that I don't even think that you probably remember the 15 minutes of interview that we did earlier. I hope not. <laughs> so I hope not. Let's, let's sort of try to go over the stuff that we outlined earlier. Okay. From St. Louis, basically just a young, a young thug out in the streets. Yeah. What did your parents do? Uh, construction and accounting. Okay, so nothing too crazy. Yeah. Any particular uh, childhood trauma or interaction that might have suggested that you would go on to become such a grand figure in the scene? Or a pretty average childhood? I would say average. Pretty average. Pretty average. Was there anything in particular that made you want to enter the military, or was that just, was there a draft at the time? Yeah, there was a draft oh. at the time, and people did it, and you know people that died, you know people that got hurt. Right. And it was a thing that everybody did. Right. Parents did before. Boom, so. At that time, it seemed like it was just kind of part of becoming a man, huh? Um, I don't know. Maybe a passing. Maybe yeah. a passing. But so you, you, you started, we, we outlined a few things earlier. You started smoking weed before you went to Vietnam. Yes. And you lost your virginity when you were 14. Yes. Where were you when you were 14 losing your virginity? Belleville, Illinois. Belleville, Illinois. Yeah. To who? I don't even remember what was the her name? name. I don't even remember the thought's name. I was trying to think about it earlier. I thought, well, he's going to ask me that question. <laughs> And I can't remember. You know how it is? You know, God oh, yeah. damn, I'm going to be 68. You know, what the fuck? I remember mine pretty a, well. I've had a lot of thoughts. You, you have, know, huh? You know what your number is? I pass Wilt. I know that. Wilt Chamberlain. You know, what do you say? 1,000, 10,000? I, I like think that. he said 10,000 or something, yeah. Chump change. That's serious shit. Chump change. Chump change. He's a famous basketball player. You're t how are you pulling in more chicks than him? Take a look. Take a, <laughs> take a fucking look, man. <laughs> All right, you got me there. You seen the bitches today? You seen them? I did see the girls melting around you. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then again, you I got, don't know, man. You know, you lose count. Well, here's what happens. You got clout now. It's uh, different. It's a different game. You no, know, I've always. Also, had why it. is your hand green? Oh, let me tell you. I said this fucking shoot today. You wouldn't believe it. All, oh, because you just had a photo shoot, right? Yeah. With and, who? Um, edibles. Oh, some sort of weed brand. They, they uh, some of the guys knew you. They'd done some work with you. Okay. And um, so they had this fucking cake. And part of the, the skit was I put my hands in this green shit, that's supposed to be like looking like marijuana, and and you leave this shit on, you know? Right. And you're just cranking on, and you know, hey, just leave it on a little bit more. Got to shoot it one more time. Uh huh. Or shoot it one more time. Put your hand a little deeper into the cake this time, and um, so it stayed green. Then I thought, well, I'm I don't give a fuck, you know? So they noticed it and said, I well fuck, maybe I just look like I've been smoking a lot of weed. Yeah, fuck it. You fuck look like it. you're slowly turning green. You could be part of like the Incredible Hulk or something. I'm as close to Superman as there is. I kind of get that feeling, especially from talking to your old uh, army buddies here that you rolled through with. They, no, they a correction here. Well, not that you were in the army no, with no, them. No, 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 no. My man there, Tom's Marine. Right. My man there's a Navy corpsman who served with the Marines. But when I they talk Marine. about you, they're pretty in awe of you. I pay them. <laughs> uh, <the fuck> <coughs> I think it's more like How the fuck is this guy Still have so much energy Still going so hard This late into your life I think I was reborn But through what? Uh, Jesus? No, no No, no, no I've, I've been down that road, you know I've been down that road, you know I could see you being in a few cults 
not knowingly being them, but you know, in my you drift through those things in the sixties. You there really? was a lot of that shit, you know, a lot of that shit. So what, what was the cult? What was the cult like? Oh, it could be a Christian cult. I mean, everything right. was a fucking uh, everything was. Let's put you in this re- Christian rehab center. And you came from being in the military. You saw some shit, as we discussed a little bit. And you were you like sort of just seeking for uh, the truth, trying to figure out, you know, what life was all about. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's no. I don't think so. You know, I was uh I would probably say more about what I'm about mm-hmm. instead of life's all about. Right. You know. Just sort of seeking. I, I look at through a, you know, I've looked at life through a few lenses. Right. That's what I find so interesting about this is that you seem like somebody who's lived many lives throughout your life. Just say the least. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, well, you're you're a salesman, yeah. a car salesman, a yeah. Honda salesman. Ocean Honda Santa Cruz. Right. Oh, man, listen, I got to do this real quick, okay? Let's do it. Okay. He's told me that he's going to take care of all my car needs from now yeah. on, so. Yeah. I got to say, I got to give this love before I forget to do this. Okay. I love you, Joe and Aya, number one follower, did my first video with him, took us five hours my boy, thank you, Joe, and my boss. Your first video? Uh, my first uh, Twitter video me and him did together. Right. And Bones, thank you. I got you this time. Ghost Main, love you. Kill Station, love you. <laughs> All the white boys. Little Pump, <laughs> love you. <laughs> Everybody in the fucking world that has helped me, you know I'm let the fuck up. You know that. You know me. So were those were, were Bones and Ghost Main and them, were they very oh, early man. on in terms Found. of promoting you? Found. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Fount. So they were early on in terms of sort of spreading your message of what you were doing on Twitter? Yeah, I was doing the Twitter to sell cars. It's okay, I like cats. Okay. And uh, you've seen my video, Check the Cat. Yeah. Cosmo is a dope smoking fucking cat you've ever seen in your life. I strike a fucking blunt, you know. I go outside, smoke a blunt, and all of a sudden, man, there's this fucking cat right there, you mm. know. Won't leave you alone until he has to get high. Has to. <laughs> Cat's 17 fucking years old. Right. He's been smoking a while. I'm barely in this cat life, you know? This cat, if you blow weed in his face, he gets very upset. Oh, this cat won't leave you alone until you get him fucked up. Really? Yeah. It, he can smell it. Ooh, don't care pouring down rain, you're standing in the rain, you're outside smoking. There's the cat at your foot. See, I need a cat like that. I got a pussy ass cat that don't even like to get high. Anyway, so, you know, um, let's talk about, I think the most interesting thing is the social media side of things. How did you first get into this? What was the oh, first video? Oh, what? The first video was, let me see. So you were, but also you said you were at a time in your life where you sort of wanted to reinvent yourself promotion and wise. You, you correct, sort, of, sort of starting correct. over Start in Santa in, Cruz? You know, no, no, it was in, because uh, I retired from Santa Cruz. Okay. Um, the Ocean Honda in Burlingame they just bought. And I went up there and I didn't have a clientele. I, I've been out of the game for five, six years. Right. And so I just started doing videos. I said, what the fuck? And I thought, well, I'll just start talking to these vets. Mm-hmm. The, whole, the whole thing, Honda deal for vets, is to help vets. You know, I take good care of the boys. Love you. Love you girls, too. Um, and it developed into people who like my message. Mm-hmm. How? I don't know. When you started out, was your style pretty close to where you're at right now in terms of, you know, the doinks and the water and the uh, thoughts and the, the thoughts? The water was really early. Okay. I couldn't hook nobody on a commercial, on a car commercial. I'm doing four or five fucking commercials a day. I'm thinking, what's wrong with you motherfuckers? On you Twitter? Know? Yeah, I thought, what the fuck is wrong? It's hard to go you. viral when you're just right. focusing yeah. on the commerce, right? Yeah, you know, I'm just boom, boom, boom. And, you know, I don't stop and think. I just start talking and say, fuck it. Right. And one day, because I always talk about I got free water. Yeah. And then one day I decided to say, man, that's something nobody ever fucking talks about. Free mother fucking water. It's one of the great things in life. Yes, it is. Then I tweeted it, and it came out free mother fucking water. Apple, fuck you. Um, <laughs> you know, I didn't say that. I did not say free mother fucking water. That came out. Thank you. Fuck you. Um, just how it came out. It's, yeah, you know. Yeah, so... so let me ask you this. Were you always interested in the internet or meme culture or the internet? Because you, you, you seem like you have just like sort of this innate understanding of 
how to be viral, how to make people laugh, how to build a following online that stands out to people. Because when I look at the average adult, like my, my dad again, is like your age, he's mystified by the internet. You know, he, he might go look up some fucking basketball game scores online, but you know, for the most part, he doesn't really, uh, you know, see, my, my boys are young. Mm. I, I, I know people in the eighties, nineties on down to the twenties. Mm -hmm. Uh, I get a lot of advice. Advice. I've been in the car game so long. The car game, okay. Yeah, you know, I've been in it so long. I know. Keeps you young. Yeah, you walk, and I walk five miles in a day, sometimes on a weekend, 15 miles in a weekend, no problem. Right. And keeps you going, keeps you thinking, keeps you moving. Being a salesman, you know, you got to think on your feet. Constantly. You, you can't get stuck in any old ritual. You got to always be thinking, how am I going to stay ahead of the curve, right? I don't ever do that, man. I just fire. You just go crazy. I just fire. I, I know if I'm going to sell a car, I'm going to sell a fucking car. Mm -hmm. And I know it takes so many people, and I got to say hi so many fucking times. But probably when you decided that you wanted to sort of promote your uh, car salesmanship online, you didn't know that you were going to end up in the position that you're in now, where you're sort of like this uh, this living legend on the internet. Where I, I feel like it's just a, such an overwhelming feeling of just like, how the fuck is this possible no, for see, most people? I don't see that. I don't see that. You know, I don't fucking see that. The world, if I got online a long time ago, folks, we'd really have some fucking followers, man. Mm. Thank you. When you were it, a bit man, you know, what, seven, eight months? Seven, eight months, you know? I, when they DM me, I answer. Right. Almost every night, hours. Do you think that's a big part of why you're uh, following so strong? Just keeping that connection? Well, I'm trying to teach people two things. Uh -huh. Free motherfucking water. <laughs> And I don't give a fuck about a thing. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Get fucked up. I have doink chats. Doink chats. Yeah. Have you been on the backwoods for a long time? You smoke the, no, the pen no, as well. No, I have not. That's another thing that's kind of new. No, these I hate these motherfuckers. I lose them all the time. Yeah. I just like... I got mine on me too. If, if I'm smoking a joint with you, chances are it's in my hand. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it don't ever go back. You know, it, I mean, there'll be four or five guys out smoking a blunt, you know, you know, where's Joe? Where is Joe? Cat might leave. Well, cats are good luck too. So you have you been consistent with the weed since you were a kid, or do you ever uh, take uh, any time periods off? Or I was trying to think that too. Mm -hmm. There was a time when there were, uh, you couldn't get a job if they tested, mm. and so I'm trying to think. No, I'll tell you the story, though. I went hunting in Alaska with my brother. And we're out on this hunting trip, and nobody brought no pot. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere, man. At the end of this fucking lake, with my brother and two friends, they're hunting for a fucking bear. I just want to sit out there and fucking fuck around and fish, you know. But they're hunting, so I'm going with them. Well, we get out there, there ain't no weed. Nobody has it. Everybody looks at Joe. They thought you were going to yeah, bring it. Yeah, you know, so one day we're sitting in the cabin late at night, and uh, my my boy just shot a deer, and we was having this venison. And all of a sudden, it's getting cold. My, my brother, he goes to sleep, and it's really cold. All we have is this 55-gallon drum, and we're throwing wood to heat it up. All of a sudden, in the middle of nowhere, the fuck, what the fuck is this, man? It's like 11 o'clock at night, and we're drunk on our ass. <laughs> And we opened the fucking door. Hey, could we come in? Well, absolutely. Well, to make us not to take up the whole fucking podcast, it got really warm in that place. We tried to warm the boys up. My brother started peeling off clothes and peeling off clothes. Well, these guys start breaking out the hash. Mm. My brother jumped down and said, what the fuck is this? He said, Joe, I can take you any place and you can get some weed. Mm -hmm. So, no, I... I don't plan on quitting. No. Do you believe that marijuana has overall had a positive impact on your life? Or that has it in any way slowed you down? This is sometimes I, I, I wonder this. Is it worth sort of the trade-off of, you know, killing a few brain cells for that extra feeling of relaxation or a little bit more creativity? I don't drink. I don't smoke cigarettes. Well, that's pretty good. You know, so, no, fuck no. Mm -hmm. You know, why would I want to be any straighter? Adam, you know, it's probably easier on the world. Right. Look at me through these lenses. That's a nice way to, to go through life, you know, a little bit 
laid back. Man, I walked down the street today. Time well, I just walked right down the street, bit of blunt. Just loved it. Nobody said, hey, you, you know, just sit on, smoke a blunt. It's one of the great parts about this uh, neighborhood is you can just walk around smoking weed, yeah. walk right by like an Orthodox Jewish family, you're just smoking a blunt. They're looking at you like you're a piece of shit. Man, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. We all got to coexist it here. <laughs> it is what it fucking is, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So, all right. So when you got on Twitter, do you think... And see, the main thing that stands out to me about your social media genius is the repetition of themes that you've picked like five, six nouns, and you just are hammering away at those. Fuck SeaWorld. Oh, well, fuck them. Fuck, fuck them. them. Fuck SeaWorld. The motherfuckers and 1050 for water, that's a fucking fact. Laid off motherfuckers. And you know what? Because of fuck SeaWorld, mm. CEO is out of a fucking job. Do you think you started that? I hope so. <laughs> I hope the fuck so. They have had quite a bit of bad PR over the past few years, you huh? Know, I just if anything I can do is push the envelope. Mm. Get the message out. Right. Okay, so yeah, fuck them. What beverages do you drink in an average day? Just water or are you a coffee guy? I drink I just kicked rock stars. Oh man. Of take, all energy drinks, you had to go with that one, huh? Oh and this is a long run. That's some know. real white trash shit drinking rock star, man. Well, you know, it is what it is. You drink what you are, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm no, a small no, coffee. So, uh, <laughs> that, was, that was hard. That's probably been, I've drank one since like the 12th of January. He quit the first year. And I was like three of those fuckers a day. Three a day? Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't then, believe you made it happened. this long. The day, the day I quit. Right. I go by the store. I've been buying a map from this motherfucker for three dollars and three fifty. Mm -hmm. One. You know what he had on sale for? How much? Eight for three fifty. Eight. I said, "You rotten motherfucker." I've done business with him. no more. I you were keeping the place alive. Fuck. I can't believe you were paying three fifty for each one because I feel like it's usually a, a deal, fiend. right? It's I'm like fiend, two for three fifty. I'm a fiend, you know. I I got to get the shit, you know, right when I'm boom, and then it don't I don't care. Bro, I used to drink two monsters a day. Oh. So now it's just okay. a double espresso. Okay. Uh, I like whipped cream. I don't like half and half. Fuck that. Fuck 2%. Fuck mm. milk. I get real cream. Uh, then I fill that up with coffee. And that's it now for the energy drinks. It's pretty solid. What time you get up? What's your schedule when you're on the job? I like to get up about 6. Mm-hmm. And then you're in the, you're in there on the on the floor at what time? Maybe ten. Okay. Maybe ten. Maybe eleven. You like the job? You like you still feel oh, motivated? Yeah, I like the job. I see. I like the job. I like the job. I think you said this earlier that you were retired for a while, but what was your retirement like? Boring. You Staying home, with my old lady, all day long, listening to her nag. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it's not that's not fun. You know. How's your old lady feel about the thought talk? Um. Uh, I don't know really how she feels. Does she look at Twitter? No, she she, she said she begged me not to do this. When it started to go. <laughs> she begged you, know, you. It started to go boom. We and we think we know what people want to hear. We think we know how to help them, and they seem to respond to help. And what they do, and they reply back to me. They feed me so much information about musicians. I listen to SoundCloud always. And just we got to talk about how that became one part of your life, one too. After yeah. One after one. And so, you know, she, she, fuck, she don't like a lot of things I do. Mm -hmm. You know? How long you been with her? Almost 30 years. 30 years. So is, let me ask you this. When you start talking about looking for a big booty thought, is that kind of, uh, are you just joking around and she gets that? Or is that... I'm not joking around. I'm looking for one. <laughs> okay. The fuck, man. You know, I am like, God damn, why not? I mean... Do I look like the type of guy who would be joking around about shit like that? I don't know. That's I mean, you're talking about shit. having a wife for 30 years. I mean, see, I joke around about girls on Twitter and, and Instagram and stuff, even though I have a girlfriend. I joke around about it maybe a little bit more than what I really mean, because well, it's entertaining. What am I supposed to say? Oh, bring me some nun? No. Okay. So that's, you know, that I, I just, I, I'm an extremist. Let's say you meet a girl here out in front of the meet and greet. You, yeah. you bring her back to, uh, to to the hotel. You smash her out, and your your wife finds out. How's she gonna feel? 
financially, that'd be a fucking disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming for half. You feel, but it would not be good. <laughs> so, what's your solution to that, though? Is it to not do it, or is it to, to just keep it real, real secretive, real low key? You know, at the risk of exposing your your steez here. Mama, you know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you hate this, but I love you. But is it weird for her to see you become famous so late in life? I don't think she knows. Really, she doesn't really get it. Um, we don't talk about this. Right. And she she didn't like me just going to this YouTube thing this morning. Mm -hmm. When are you gonna do that? Want to? Yeah. I'm and, live uh, it up. The fuck, I would do it anyway. Fuck you. See, you've you know? been living on the edge for a long time, but do you feel like now it seems even more important that you're having these opportunities? It's like, hey, I might not be around a year or two from now. I got to go hard in the meantime. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking, you know, uh, fuck no. I am not. I might. My birth certificate might not be the truth. <laughs> Remember in Obama's, they found out that birth certificates are not always the truth. Remember that? Remember With Obama? Trump? Obama. So you're a birth certificate no, truther? No, 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 because I don't really believe I was born in 1950. Uh -uh. Where do you think Obama was born? I was born in Amish. So, um, <laughs> what does that mean exactly? You know, you, you, you got to See, I used to always think that, like, when I was. Oh, you more... think about the religion. About those. No, I've been talking about Amish. I was just trying to figure out if you thought that Obama was born in Kenya or whatever, which is oh, kind of no, a thing. No. You know. he was Donald Trump said that. He's the president now. Well, Trump says a lot of shit. He does. How do you feel about Trump? You know, I don't trust none of these motherfuckers. I really don't trust him. I don't know, no, no. But I found some. I don't watch television. Mm -hmm. You don't at all? No. You don't keep up on the news too much? No. Maybe that's what gives you so much uh, ability to I, connect I with the youth. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Right. You know, they're going to kill me. They're going to fucking kill me. You think that's why most people watch the news is to find out who's going to kill them? They like horror. Mm. You, know, you know, horror sells. Mm -hmm. You know, horror sells. So what would you say that like interacting with your Twitter fan base is like the main thing that takes up your time, like when you're done at work and everything? Um, I'm on Twitter most of the day. Yeah, I'm on Twitter most of the day. Let's gotta be some downtime selling cars. Selling cars, you know, I take a break two three hours. <laughs> you know. Let me ask you this: a lot of people, you know, at a certain point in their life, like decide it seems to sort of start bullshitting to not tell the truth all the time to not just state how they feel that's what i think people gravitate to so much with you is that you're so open about you know i want to get high yeah i want to fuck some bitches yeah i want free motherfucking time. water free water drink a big uh, big old glass uh, of the yeah. sunny yeah boom yeah, here we go here we go what boom. do you think it is that, that made you never want to sort of um, temper your message I never cared. I just never cared. I can't think of, you know, hey, did a lightning bolt hit me? Hey, Joe. I would. I just now had the ability to really say, hey, fuck you. And admit, hey, tell them. Go to these motherfuckers, you know? Mm -hmm. Look at these fuckers lie. You know? Look at them lie. Look at these fuckers lie. You Ooh. know, now we can, all of them. Politicians and stuff? Scientists. What are they like? Proven fact. Okay, proven fucking fact. Water always goes level. I mean, level? What, level. like in a cup? Is this water level? Yeah. Okay. Here. It right is, now. Yeah. Level, right? Mm hmm If the if the earth was round, maybe the water would be like this. <laughs> Let me hear this. Okay. Hear this. Nobody's ever seen the other side of the earth. Same picture over and over. The earth is flat. <laughs> Gravity is a jack off. <laughs> Newton, who the fuck is he? Oh, yeah, drop a fucking rock. Oh, yeah, that's gravity. Mm -hmm. So is this kind of like a meme thing, the flat earth thing, or are you really bought into this? I believed that for a long time. You did? Yeah. Did you have to fall back on it at a certain point? Um, I just wanted the world to know. Right. You know? Conspiracy theories in general, would you say that's an interest of yours? Yes. Really? Anything else? We already talked about Obama's birth uh, certificate. It kind of falls into that category. Big booty bitches. But that's a conspiracy? Yeah, because they, they, you know what? Here's what happened. They started hiding these bitches. You know, they got them in the gym working out in their booty all day long. Boom, boom, boom. They got to get back on the street, girls. Um, that's a concern. Do you know about the fat transfer that girls do now? Take the fat out of their gut, put it in their ass? That's okay. 
Oh it's yeah, just, it's okay. You know, whatever they, whatever they, these fucking thighs want to do. Whatever they want to do. Whatever they want to do, as long as they get that booty just right, okay. You consider yourself a feminist? No. What? Why not? No. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I think we all like to. The most basic definition of a feminist is just somebody who believes women are equal to men, but it doesn't seem like that's really like what they're trying to get across a what lot of is times. Equal. equal. What is equal? I mean, I the think shit you put in the fucking coffee equal. <laughs> That what they're talking about. We're equal here. Drink right. this. This ain't sugar. This is equal. Fuck that. Right. You know, a lot of times what people say I to like me. I like you, but just you know, I do. I do. Oh, I like them too. I do. I like them. I like them, but you know, get lit, get wet, honey. Yeah. How's your sex life these days? I don't need Viagra. You don't. No. You don't seem like it. You seem like you're high energy kind of guy. You know. You know um, Jeb Bush. I throw a dick like it's the last motherfucker, you know. Right. Just though. You like just it's your throw. last nut. Like, Every boom. nut like it's your last nut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta be careful to say if you do that, you can't shake the bitch, you know. <laughs> really? You give, her, you give her too much dick, you I can't get rid of her. I tell kids. I tell them all the time. Don't do it. Never get rid of the bitch. Don't fuck her that good. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually not the worst advice I ever heard. Because sometimes, you know, you give them dick too much, they start acting crazy. You give them a little too good a dick. That's why I like to limit myself. The first time you have sex with a girl, you got to give her maybe like, what, five, ten minutes at most? She get I don't think I lasted that long. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, yeah. Give, give her two Adam, minutes. Let me tell you. I'm going to share with you what happened. <laughs> I'm over at my friend's house. Mm -hmm. And there's this chick I've been wanting to bang. Bad. Got close, 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 close. But he had her over at the house. Mm. They were downstairs. One of his buddies said, I got to see him, got to see him. So I said, okay, I go down. Hey, man, this dude got to see you. There the bitch was naked. I did her, I did service. Yes, I did. You banged her? Sure. So your friend was banging her and then you no, also? No, I banged her. He got all mad about that. Oh. We never really got that close again. You, you and the guy? Yeah. Really? This sort of tore your friendship apart? No, no, no. But let, in my opinion, every guy is allowed one girl that they're allowed to be possessive with. You can't, you know. Oh, I'm possessive of mama. Yeah, yeah but you can't be mama. running around claiming all kinds of different chicks and stuff. You got one girl that you can claim, and other than that, if your boys fuck some girl, even if you like her, oh, if she's not your main you girl, I, I, I can't be claiming all these bitches. You know, they can't be too much. Too much in this day and age. Right. Too much. Too much. Have you do you, do you have a lot of women hitting you up since you are kind of clouded up, famous on the internet now? I have a few. I have a few. I have a few chat with me. They chat with you. Yeah. They respect what you're doing. Let's say I respect what they're doing. Right. You know, I'm I mean, trying to help them out, Adam. When's the last time you had a threesome? Uh, been a while. It's been a while. No, mama. Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> Adam. I mean, we talk a lot of things, but we can't touch on mama's territory. You can't you know? talk about, you know, what I can't talk specifics. about, you know, I have three, four bitches at one time. Uh. I believe that I should never have more than three at a time. I think four, if you have four, they'll gang up on you. And they'll team up, fuck you up. Um, well, there's only so much dick to go around. So if you got four of them, eventually it becomes like a sewing is, circle. You're just too happens, small no, a percentage of what's going no, on. Here's what happens when you get four. They start banging each other, and you you can't keep up with that fucking dildo. Mm. It just keeps going and going they and going. They can bang each other. It's entertaining. You get to look at it. It is and entertaining, but too much. Right. See, I've never been with four girls. I'm only the max. I've maxed out at three. Try it sometimes. Hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> Try it sometimes. You're still Try young. It. You're still young. You're right. I'm still young. Jeez, I feel like I'm learning so much. <laughs> I have to say a fucking. So you actually met these guys that you hang out. You're hanging out with in PTSD. Yeah. Class of sorts, kind of like that. So yeah. that's still something you kind of deal with, or, or yeah, I deal with it daily. Really? Yeah. Interesting. You seem like you're in pretty high spirits for somebody uh, who. Oh man, it's not like you know I'm dealing with fucking pneumonia, shit. <laughs> right. Know? I just deal with life. It's easy. Well, it's just kind of hard not to, not to think about uh, some of the fucked up shit you've seen. Oh, I don't. You just don't think about it. I don't. Do you feel like you're more helping other people out who are who are dealing with stuff? No, I'm in a different part of life right now. Uh huh. I'm the message of love. Right. Free water, love, 
smoke a fucking doink. Uh, support our vets. I am anti-war. Mm. Unless it's necessary. Um, throw that in there. Sometimes, right. it's, sometimes it is necessary. Oh, there's evil on earth, you know. Um, uh, I hate Starbucks. I hate Subway. Just because of the locks, or you just hate Starbucks just, in just general? Hate them. Just, it's just the locks, toilet water in the UK. Uh-huh. Uh, did you know that? Toilet water in the UK? What do you mean? They use toilet water, recycled toilet water in the UK at Starbucks. Really? Fact. Fact. Is it like a recycling thing? or? I don't know what they do. You know those lamies? I don't know. I, don't, I should ask the next time one of these guys hit me up from over there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask them what the, what the fucking deal is with Starbucks. Why do you hate Starbucks? I still don't really... Try to take a piss in there, man. What if you got to take a piss? Try it next time. Next time you're in Starbucks, don't go through the drive-thru. Here's what I want you to do, an experiment. Just try it like this. Drink, no? The locks. Drink, drink three or four things of water. Get ready. You got to pee, okay? <laughs> then shit happens. It happens, okay? Then I want you to walk into Starbucks. Then I want you to walk up to the line. And then I want to see how long there's to get the combination lock. You just shout at him. Hey! Uh-uh, What's uh-uh. the code? Uh-uh. Boom. They don't fuck you. They'll let me know. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. They seem like they normally do. Uh, well. Also, there's a lot of Starbucks. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot of Starbucks where they'll just sort of, they, they don't have the code on it. It good. depends on the area. It depends on uh, how, good, how urban it is. I don't fuck with them. Right. Santa Cruz, a lot of meth heads and shit. So they probably well, got to have codes got, on it. You know, they don't need that much coffee. The methods. Yeah. But, you know, that's why I, I thought I was curious about so you saying you love rock stars. Whenever I fucking see some, some meth head looking ass people, they're buying rock stars. <laughs> yeah. No, Monster. I'm not about meth. No. I'm about a lot of fucking things, but I'm not about meth. But have you tried it? No. I tried it. This was I don't know. You know what? In my day, they called it crank. Right. I did it one time, put it in my coffee, and one time did a little tab of it. Fuck that shit. That's the most fucked up shit I ever did, I, bro. I, you know? I was fucking all night. I came to it like 10 in the morning and realized yeah. what I was doing. It was like I was in a fucking trance. Yeah. I thought it was Molly, though. I didn't even know what Molly was until a little while ago. Really? Yeah. You ever tried it? No. Probably won't. Ecstasy? No. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, even doing coke at this point in my life, it just makes me feel like my heart's going to jump out of my fucking chest. I don't, I don't think I can do it anymore. Well, save yourself a lot of money. Yeah, you might have a more resilient heart than me. I have an incredible heart. You, I, somehow I believe that. An incredible heart. Right. Is that what the doctor says? What's the yeah, doctor say when you go in for an examination? My doctors follow me. They're probably watching this fucking thing right now. Um, <laughs> Your doctors are interested yeah, in what yeah. you're doing? Yeah, I tell them. I, I play videos for them, you know? Right. Sure. What, okay, your doctors, they take a look at you in the examination. What do they, do, do they have anything to say about your health? Is there any, any sort of issues? I know my dad Nothing doesn't. major. Nothing major. Right. Nothing major. The smoking's not taking a toll on your lungs at all? No. No. Fucking lungs are perfect. Let's put this in perspective. I hung out with Tommy Chong recently. Yeah. You're way, you're doing way better than he is. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. And, I mean, he's not doing so bad, but, you know, I mean, I guess he is like eight years older than you, but. I just keep on this. I keep active. Right. I keep active. So when did you actually become interested in, let's just say, hip-hop? Let's not even talk about SoundCloud rap, uh, underground hip-hop. Let's just say rap in general. When did that sort of get on your radar? When did Eminem come out? 98. Maybe 99. I'm the real shady. Yes, I'm the real shady. All these other slam shades are just imitating. Oh, he's, my, he's, he's the ultimate man. He's, he's my dog. So man. that meant a lot to you. Oh, fuck. I love him. Was it because you couldn't relate to all these uh, more urban acts before that? Yeah, or? you know what? Say it like it fucking is, you know? Yeah. You know? Well, he, he, he was real. Yeah. So he says what it is, you know, he ain't beat around the fucking bush, you know. He spoke for middle America in a way yeah, that no did. rapper ever really had before. He really, see, like, I believe it. now I'm the last great white rapper. Really? Have you ever spit a verse, like, on a track? I think uh, we're with the girls a little bit today, no? Are you yeah. open to that? Um, I could get you in the studio tonight. Oh, not tonight. Fuck, it's been a long tonight. day already, man. <laughs> um, and we're going out tonight. Are you? Yeah. You know where you're going? No, I'm going to be out there, though. No. No, I don't know. God, this porn star uh, was inviting know, us to go to the club last night. I would have loved to bring you along. Oh, fuck. You know, I'd take over some, that place. You'd have so many bitches over there. 
<laughs> Your friends are like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this, this, this fucking ginger over here, man, you know, he kept saying, you know, I kept telling him all day long, you know, I said, listen, I'm going to send thoughts your way. You know, mm. Boom, boom. I keep sending them to him. They keep coming back to me. Mm. You know, I send them to him. They keep coming back to me. Right. I'm trying to help this poor motherfucker out. So if you got somebody that could help a ginger out, please. My girl, my. Yeah, yeah, I think that's Thank a great you. idea. You know, that's I, I, something I feel kind of strongly about. I think we should be encouraging the sex workers to just hook a vet up with some pussy for free. I think so, too. You know, our country uh, ignores these people. They don't you, pay them respect. Let me tell you, the military <laughs> probably pays more money for pussy than any fucking occupation in the world. What do you mean by that? Hookers. The military. They're in the military. They're all fucking young guys. They're buying this pussy. Right. They're doing the country a service. They're doing these girls a service. Mm. So you, do you think prostitution should be legalized? Oh, absolutely. Me too. Absolutely. we got to just let people do what they want to do. Do what they fucking want to do. What's it hurting? They could have been doing it for fucking since the beginning of time. They're going to do it either way. Might as well keep them out man, of jail Man, you know stuff. what? It could help the view on the street, man. They legalize it. Oh, Lord, would I see some rough street walkers today. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Hoots, huh? Whenever you Here. see girls just walking the street, you never really get the feeling that they're in a very uh, safe Situation. It's always kind of like, but you go to Amsterdam. You ever been to Amsterdam? No. Oh, it's it's beautiful. They got these little booths, these little windows. You can just look and walk up and down. I never actually did it, but you could just you walk up. Is your forty bucks, fifty bucks, whatever the fuck it is? Boom, you're smashing. Pull the curtain back. They got a little string. They can pull the string if you start trying to kill them. They pull the string. Oh, wow. security comes, res rescues them, presumably. Well, you know that might be worth it. I guess if you're smashing them right, then or if they if you, love it. they might. I always look for some cash back. I'll be honest with you. Some sort of refund deal or yeah, like a voucher? No, you know, I, I know some of you bitches still owe me, but um, I always want cash back. I don't want to pay for that shit. No, no. No, that should help me out. Let me be honest. You know, I that's never, why I wrote the song Liquor the Dick. I never pay for sex. No, fuck these thoughts. But, I mean, I'll take my girlfriend out for a $300 dinner, well, get some top off that, that. I guess that's kind of a pain for rent. There ain't much difference. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, 300 bucks. That's, you, that's you, a good here's price. A shot. Here's a shot. Here's with your, you and your girlfriend. Mm. You might go spend $300 and she tells you, uh uh. You go out and grab a hoe and spend $300. You know, you got hooked up. I guess that's the best of both the world. She never said no to me. No. She okay. just lets me. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, Even if she ain't in the mood, she'll still. Well, God bless you, honey. Cat. God Let's bless go. You. Move it. Kitty, kitty. Oh, yeah. You're you know, rough, you know, man. Minute. Get over here. Sit down here. Tony. Lena, you want to come herd him for a second? <sighs> you see that jacket she's wearing? With I, I made that for oh, for, for Valentine's nice. Day. You like that? Yeah, I do like it. Yeah. What's are you? Uh, do you consider yourself like a romantic, a true romantic? Yes. Absolutely. I could see you thinking up some nice gestures for the lady who's the object of your affection. It comes pretty smoothly to him, you know. Right. You know, I move slow. <laughs> but in a positive direction. Right. So, would you say that the free water thing, is that a metaphor for free love and... No, no. No, no. it's just about water? It's free motherfucking water. <laughs> and it is a love, pure love. Hmm. Hey, I love you. Fuck you, nigger, lying bastard. Uh, Wait, what? Lying bastard. Oh. I sometimes say nigga, and it sounds different. My boys say that to me. Okay. Wait, what? I sometimes use the word nigga. Okay. My boys say that to me. Sometimes they don't sound correct. Right. You know, have, are you aware that there's kind of a stigma around white people using that oh, word? You know, I don't understand. I'm not that, trying that, to tell that, you no, how to no, live. No, no, no. I know there's a stigma, you know. <laughs> And I, you know, and I don't know if it's amongst us. You know, I got a lot of black friends, a mm. lot of black friends. Respect. And uh, lots, lots. And they call that's what they call me. Oh yeah, same. That's what they call me. Mm. You know what they call me online, nigga. Yeah. So if I offend anybody, my bad. I'm going to be honest. I think a large percentage of the African American community would probably give you a pass in this context. It's not for me to say, but I feel like they probably feel what you're doing to the extent that they'll, they'll probably give you a pass. But I mean, you know, have you ever got a bad reaction from somebody for saying that? Um, 
Yes, 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 yes. How'd that go down? Uh, it didn't go good. It didn't go good. You know, it it, it was not, it did not go good. You know, but I'm a comedian. You are. I'm a comedian. What I say is a gesture. I never say anything bad about nobody. Right. Uh, I am so far past that word being racial. Right. So far past. So far past. Of of taking wor- a, a word and saying it's harmful. It's mm. painful. It is... I see in the younger is where it came up for me. My younger friends use it all the time. Mm. Uh, a lot, a lot, a <laughs> lot, yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot. So you know, I am a comedian, and I don't give a fuck about a thing, but I do give a fuck about hurting your feelings. Mm. I do give a fuck about that. I think that's probably the reason why I don't say it is just because, you know, I don't want to tread into the territory where somebody might be able to get the wrong idea about mm-hmm. what my intentions are, you know. But that's just me. Sometimes I say the wrong thing, but I speak honest. Mm. Well, that's good. Um, let me ask you this. Do you think the world has gotten too politically correct? I guess you don't watch TV, so you might not even uh, know. Politically correct? Yeah. No, I don't think, I think we, we've passed that, you know, we're, we're, we can say what we want to say. Mm-hmm. We don't have to be politically correct at all. Right. Not at all. But I'm you kind of run the risk of like upsetting people on, um, online in particular on Twitter. Have you ever had people get offended by the, the stuff that you say on Twitter? Mm-hmm. Anything in particular that stands out? No, just they say, fuck you. Right. I said that too. I don't feel like your message online is really too, uh too offensive it'd be hard to find anything too negative to say about it my message is always about water Mm -hmm. love thoughts it's really like the universal themes things that everybody can agree on water's great thoughts are great that's you never really talked about rock star too much because that's more of a a divisive issue oh you know what i was so glad to quit i was so glad to quit this is awful oh fuck no they whip my ass, you know, do it in the morning to get up, do another one in the afternoon to stay up, mm. do another one, six o'clock. Oof, a, a, and, ro- and, a third rock star at yeah. 6 p.m.? Are you, you crazy? Know, then, you know, I'm, I work to, on Twitter to 10, 11. <laughs> you consider it work? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I got a lot of people to talk to. Right. I, um, demographics concern me. Uh, where my audience is at, what that audience wants. Have you sold a lot of cars to your fans? I sell cars from people off Twitter who are looking for a car. Uh, a lot, I don't know if it's a lot. You know, I don't know what that number means. But it's helped. Oh, I'd say so. Have you ever had any blowback from your employer in regards to anything that you've ever said online because you know sometimes you're talking about the thoughts or the top who knows maybe they might think oh this is not a good look for our dealership or has that never come up oh no hey, oh joe and they, i hope i did mention you um they know they follow me they might say from time to time slow it down a little bit joe mm. but never don't do it. It brings in business. Right. You're a character. You know, they got to they know what they're getting into. I'm sure there's all kinds of eclectic uh, comedians you know, in the a, world. In the car business, we're comedians. Right. You know, if, we're good, if you're good, you can tell the story. Right. Make it easy for the folks. It's all about just being able to relate to people. Make people want to, to spend time with you. So it's a very personal moment. For a lot of people, it's the biggest purchase that they'll make in the course of their life besides a house, I guess. A lot of times. Most of the time, this day and age. Mm. Most of the time. Let's get back into the SoundCloud rap. When did you start to pay attention to guys like Bones and Ghost Mane and all these guys? You're sort of you known know, for... What happened is, uh, when I first come on, I didn't know how to do this. Right. So some guy hit me up from some, some people called Fount, producers and musicians. Mm. And... 
teased me a little bit. And I joked back with them. I started, they started following me. Mm. They says, and they thought I was funny. <laughs> I started listening to the music then. I started meeting people. Mm. I started hearing what they have to say. Um, in this fount, they're all over the world. And so they all have different philosophies and they all talk about different musicians. And they're in the underground. Mm -hmm. And to be in this group is, has done tons for me. Right. Tons, tons, tons. Tons. So, any particular song? What are your favorite underground classics? Anything by Bones you know, or any of these guys? Man, okay. No, my mind went blank. No, you know, I just, I listen, I don't listen to the, for the artist. I've never sit down and listen to like five, six, seven songs from an artist. Just the overall vibe? Yeah, yeah, and the message. Right. You know, the message, if I like it. What do you think, like, what's the overall message of like Bones and Ghost Man? It's like, you know, he'd kill uh, your family. A little, you know, a little heavy metal still, you know. Well, do you see some of that? Did you, were you a big heavy metal guy? At one time, man, I, they, listen, they went from, I went from, 50s, music changed in the 60s, music changed in the 70s, music changed in the 80s, music right. changed in the 90s. So, and heavy metal's been around a while. I like I liked the message. You know, they're, they're a little wild. You know, Suicide Boys and those mm. those guys are a little wild. But a I little like too wild for you? Uh, he crazy. They're crazy Suicide, suicide Boys. Suicide Boys. Hi, well, they're Hi, talking Hi, like about that Hi, drug talk, too, I about know. that, you know. I know. They've been through the through the ringer. I know they have. I know they you have. You like that? Uh, no, 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 no. I like them. I like them. I, I uh, listen to your podcast. Mm. Classic. People love that one. Yeah. Still hear about it every fucking day. They, they like it because we, I think, talked about, you know, getting off drugs and that kind of stuff, which I'm not particularly knowledgeable about. But for them, you know, they, they've been through the whole recovery thing, and I think that meant a lot to a lot of people. It is a lot, man. I mean, they, so all these guys got a lot of money, mm. you know? Drugs are taken away from them and put their ass in jail if they're not careful. They're getting smart. That's true. They're getting smart. A lot of the stuff that, you know, drugs, jewelry, yeah. girls, you can run through all this fucking rap money real easy. Yeah. Same thing with the used car game, I'm assuming. Yes. What's the craziest thing you ever spent money on? Probably bitches. Um, but not paying for pussy, but more just what? Take them on trips? Oh, yeah. Stuff like that? Um, no, you know, I'm not really... Um, I don't spend a lot of money that way. Mm. I don't spend a lot of money. What do you want out of life at this point? Like, what makes you happy? What are you driven by? Uh, just, uh, uh, I think I really like what's going on in Twitter. The interaction. Mm. Um, I get excited. I get to say what I can't say. Hmm. You know, I can't just walk around and say I don't give a fuck about a thing when I don't. You know, I can say that online. You can really be yourself. Yeah, I like that. That's the power of social media, huh? That you can really just be your, your true yeah, self. Just say whatever the fuck you want to say, you know? And you can as long as I don't hurt nobody, you know, sometimes I do hurt people. Um, who? Who have you hurt with oh, your you words? Know, I might say the wrong thing. I, I can be sometimes very opinionated. And. You know, if I don't like something, I usually can't fucking wait to say it. You know, I just fucking, instead of thinking, just, choo, gets me in a little trouble. Is there anybody that you've gone in on that you regret insulting on Twitter or anything? Oh, no, 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 no. I've never insulted anybody on Twitter. Oh, okay. You know, if I say fuck this, fuck that, you know, fuck them. Let me ask you this. Yeah. I remember hearing a while back that you were charging people to smoke a blunt with you. Fuck no. No? Never. I never like bothered to try to confirm no, or anything. I was just shit, curious about no. that. I heard it was like 400 bucks to smoke a blunt with you. I was like, fuck, man, that's a genius damn. right there. I wish the fuck. These guys would owe me some money, man. <laughs> I've smoking their blunts with them for fucking years, man. <laughs> shit, no, and you guys think I'm I'm fucked up on the money. Look at you now. You see? See, Cliff? Jack off. These guys love you. I love them, but god damn. You see how it goes down? Yeah. I think that they're just like... 
you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting to see you with these younger dudes who just seem like so like bewildered by by your energy level. I mean, that's kind of yeah. how I feel too. It's like, God damn, I hope I still got a little bit of this energy left when I'm his age. Just never, just never believe you get old. Right. Just never believe you get old. Mm. Drink this motherfucking free water. Well, you'll be there. You'll be there. Are there anything else? Uh, what else should we address before we wrap this up? I feel like this is very important because a lot of people are going to learn a lot about you that they probably never would have uh, expected to learn here. I'm curious how many people are watching this. I am. You know, I hope you got everything. I hope you got everything. If I offended some people, sorry. If I didn't, if I offended a lot, fuck you. <laughs> I think uh, I think we've we've learned a lot. I think you've educated the community. I hope so. All with love. Thank you guys. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also, so is, are you just on Twitter? Or you have Instagram. I don't. I, you don't bother. It is growing so fast. Right. You know, eight hundred thousand a day. Uh, busy. That's busy. serious. I like a guy who dedicates himself to one platform. You could get like an intern to put your stuff on Facebook and Instagram for you, or something no. like that. No. I can't stand Facebook either. Oh God, me neither. Um, Instagram. These jackoffs got that handle for me over there. You know. Right. Um, Oh, they take care of it for you. Okay. Well, no, no, they got a tactical patience thing on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And so, what? Oh, junior officer Cliff? That was a little skinny guy there. Can he fire that up? Yeah, of course. Smoke fucking huge, huge doinks in here all day. Well, not me so much. I'm kind of, I'm kind of laying low on the weed, but. Oh, that would fuck you up, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard yeah, about you these. know, late last night, you know, we're driving up. Tommy fires up, God, I thought, what the fuck? They had different kinds of weed, you know? Mm -hmm. And he fires up this weed. I said, I tell him, man, fuck that. It's too too strong. He said, okay, I'm not going to do that. So he decides that he, to do it anyway and then put wax down the middle and not say anything. We got through it. But I was lit the fuck up. Yeah, that wax will do you. Yeah. That's intense. Man. Have you ever uh, gotten much, like, free weed? I feel like uh, there's got to be a lot of companies out there that probably want to help you out. You know what? Hit me the fuck up. You want free, give dad free weed? Hit me the fuck up. I'll, I'll I, take I, it. I know some brands that I think would probably be... <laughs> it would be good. I'll help them out. Shout out Nexus Cannabis Co. and West, West Coast Cure. I'm going to hit them both up and be like, we got to get Joe Yu with some high-quality top-shelf kush. What? He's smoking mid. What? Come here, bitch. They're just getting Did high over there. No, well, he has something to say. What do you have to say, Cliff? Cliff? Cliff, come on. Get online. Come here. Come here. Come over here, Cliff. Can you come over here a second? <laughs> yeah, of course. Come here, Cliff. Cliff, you want to get in there? Get over here, Cliff. This is a this is my dog, my buddy. Uh, now, what do you have to say over there poking your fucking finger like this? this, this, this. What? What? I'm not saying nothing. No, you have something to say. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, started, he started talking a little bit about what we do up north. About tactical patients, and that's just kind of what. Tell him what does tactical patients do, Cliff? Tactical patients is what we do is we get veterans out of their depression, out of their. To explain it, whenever I started this journey, I was locked in my house all the time, didn't want to move, depressed, bad spaces, suicidal thoughts, suicidal problems. And once you get out change everything you want to get the veterans out you want to get them in leadership roles we do homeless drives every month in our meetings we give them medicine we try to make them feel better and that's what we're about the lord's work right there yeah it is we're trying to do tell us a little bit about how this guy's changed your outlook on life it seems yeah. like you guys are, are quite influenced by tell it. him tell him cliff you ever see the man get get so many thoughts hanging on him <laughs> tell him he looked at me the other day adam i'm gonna tell you I ain't shaved three or four days. I looked a little rough, right? Just a little rough. And some of these girls hit me up on the DM. I'm showing it to him. He's looking at the pictures. He's looking at me. He's looking at the fucking pictures. He's looking at me. And he looks at me and says, how? How? How could that fucking be? So today, I had to bring him down to show him living fucking proof. So I'm praying for this kid, you know? He, this fucker needs Viagra. This fucker here, he needs Viagra. He got a pocket full of that shit on him. <laughs> yeah, fuck yes, in case he hooks up. He don't be embarrassed himself. He's a goddamn ginger. 
I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you keep giving you shit about being a ginger too. Is that is that you take it in stride? Well, I mean, it's it's I've lived 33 years as a ginger. <laughs> I mean, no denying it. I I am what I fucking am, and I'm proud of it. Ginger pride, like Cartman said. Yes. Be proud. Be proud. Be a ginger. I'm almost more into Cliff's message than yours. Oh yeah. Ginger pride. Yes. Yes. The fuck free oh, water. No. Free motherfucking water. There you go. There you go. There you go. We're, we're, might, we're boys. This we're just, Tommy. He, no, we Tommy respect this Tommy man. won't come over. Tommy yeah. won't come over. He don't think he's still going to get fucked up, but... No, it's good. I, I think what you're doing is really important because, you know, you, you never hear people talk about the vets besides when it's being politicized. You know, when they're, they're basically people use, pol politicians using it for leverage to, you know, basically try to try to get some sympathy or something. I think it's kind of disgusting, and it's nice to hear from people who actually... We don't talk about it enough, how important the contribution that our vets uh, have made is. Sacrifice. That's one thing we look at this man for, and he's goofy and he's crazy, and we love him, but he's also a, a goddamn warrior, mm. and one of the baddest motherfuckers I've ever met, and I respect the shit out of this man, and I follow this man in battle to the gates of hell. Thank you, my man. And I don't know, that's why we believe in what he does, he believes in what we do. We're all just trying to stop veterans from ending their lives and just living in depression in their homes and just tell the fucking truth cliff you're dying to spend some money on a hooker tonight well that too god damn you know but i'm not you're trying to talk wander. about that i bring you over I, you, look at this motherfucker <laughs> listen to him we didn't know if this whole thing was going down right and we could smell this shit happening and so i talked to cliff you're on the bus so we didn't know what's happening at all almost wasn't going to come down he's left out in the fucking cold you know tommy said man you know we got to take him Okay, okay. I give him. He says, "No, nah, no." Nah. I give this fucker his shot, his shot, and he says, "Up here, we're talking about the fucking vets. Talk about this money you spend on hookers. Get you're online right now to the fucking world. We want to know how much money you spend on a hooker." In my life, it's staggering. <laughs> It's absolutely staggering. We need to know that, Cliff. Thank you. Well, we're here to talk about you, Joe Urban. Right. We're supporting yeah. sex workers and we're supporting veterans all at the same time. Thank it's God. really we're just we're supporting. We're just get we love, love when we can. Give Ask love to everybody. Love back. If you have to pay for the love, sometimes you got to fucking pay for it. You pay for it always. But you right. give the love anyway. I know, I'm sorry. I might have to get prostituted after tonight. I mean, these guys are getting me all riled up. All right. Have fun. Get one too. She said, "Have fun." Oh. She said, "She's gonna get oh, one. She's gonna go to go. Chippendales." Yeah. Ooh. 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 Take one of those dancers home with her. She, she's into this shit, I think. Well, to each your own. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, this has been an incredible interview. Thank you so much for your time. Cliff, thank you, too. I, 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 oh, huge amount of respect to you it. guys and uh, what you got going on here. I guess we're going to fire up this doink. Yeah. Let's fire that bad yeah, bitch up. We got up. one going. We got another one going. Joseph, it was a fucking hey, honor. My, my pleasure. Hey, can I get the Twitter follow back? I don't know why I got unfollowed. What happened there? Who the... F no, bullshit. Bullshit. Kids, go Bull check. Go verify. Shit. Go verify. Well, verify that motherfucker. For Adam sure. 22, not followed by Joseph Urban on. on uh... In a second. Let me get. To... I don't have my phone. Fuck. I'm, I'm just saying. It. I just. Hey, when man. I saw that, I was like, damn, maybe I shouldn't do this. Boys, interview. you better get out there and change this motherfucker <laughs> now. <laughs> hey, and much love to Chris Long, too. Yeah. Just so you know, much that's, much that's who the hey, filmer is. Thank here. you, guys. Thank Remember, you so very much. Thank you so much, bro. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Rico motherfucking Reckless is in here. You, you got to say hi in this podcast. Oh, man, what's cracking? This is one of the biggest Chirac savages that you will ever meet. He just dropped a noodle on me somehow. But that's good. That's good. That's good for publicity. Say, say something. Oh, yeah. This is called Fa. You know, I ain't from my home from Chirac. Fa. Fa. But, you know, I first thought it was fool, but it's actually delightful. Reckless. Smoking that doink with that toka in it, bitch. <laughs> you heard it here first. No hit jumper. This, hit this bad bitch, man. Look at this one. Wait till you see how he rolls these things. Okay. Okay. Looks like your fucking forearm, man. Oh, that's what I like. He's that's throwing like. seven seven grams in that shit. Hey, I was just on Twitter with Funny as shit, bro. He's amazing. Thank you. Thank hey, you. <laughs> shout out Rico Reckless. Rest in peace, Fredo Santana. Rest in peace, Lil Peep. Rest in peace, Combat Jack. Rest in peace, Gabe Brooks. Honor deal for vets. We out. Where's the vibes? Love you, bro. Much respect, bro. Love you too. Man, you know what? You off? We offline? Uh, one second.